Well, it's that time again to talk about NXT UK for October 15, 2020. And we have opening round action in the Heritage Cup Tournament. And we're going to be seeing the Bomber Dave Mastiff versus Joseph Connors. A very physical match. Uh, we see Dave Mastiff, you know, really, really just setting the pace. Manipulating Jim, uh, you know John. Con I mean <laughs> Jim, John, Jim Connor, John Connor, uh, Joseph Connor's, uh, you know, arm, and you know, trying to really uh, show him who's the powerful one in this uh, match. And uh, the first round and the second round, it went with uh, zero to zero, no uh, pitfalls from either uh, competitor, and in the third round my pick Dave Mastiff knocked out Connors because Connor came at him and rightfully so came out swinging gave him a really stiff uh, punch to his uh, you know to his face and it face uh, uh, you know uh, Dave Mastiff and what did Dave Mastiff do he uh, came back and knocked him out and he was like you seen those uh Real, real, just like impressive knockouts in a boxing match where someone's head goes up against the ropes and then their head is like underneath the ropes and they're practically almost out of the ring. That's what happened to, John, to uh, Joseph Connor. And the referee called it and that's when he knocked him out. And that is all he needed to win the match as per the rules. If a knockout happens, you know, the person uh, wins the match. So he moves on. And uh, next week, uh, Kenny Williams uh, will be facing Trent Seven, so that ought to be a really good match right there. Now, Jordan Devlin is looking looking to uh, let us know why he is pound for pound the best. Now he called out uh, Two Hundred Five Live in regards to the title, but isn't the title now on NXT? I mean, I haven't been watching uh, 205 Live at all, so I don't even know if they still go there. But it's called the NXT Cruiserweight Championship now. But uh, I guess he regards himself still as the champ, but it says that it belongs to him, and if anyone wants to get it, come take it from him. Well, you don't have to do that because the title is with Santos Escobar, so he didn't have to take it off you. You were relinquished of the belt or relieved of the belt because he couldn't uh, travel I don't know why that matters because they sometimes don't even honor the whole 30 day compete clause thing so you know what I mean so I don't know why that would matter but uh Jordan Devlin is one of those wrestlers that I like seeing he's very much in the same vein as Finn Balor of course because Finn Balor trained him so his style is a lot like his but uh he also adds a lot of uh, different stuff to it you know to his uh ring to his way of wrestling but um you know i'd like to see him get a shot at it again uh, i don't know they're still in the uk so uh, unless uh they could travel to the us or if santos escobar could travel to uh, the uk and defend it against jordan devlin i think he, he deserved a shot he wasn't uh you know beaten for it so uh, why not but uh let's move on to uh isla don versus piper niven and uh, it's a very, very good uh, match. Uh, I really like these two ladies. They really bring uh, something to the ring. Uh, each of them have a different style. But uh, these two really, really uh, took it to each other. And uh, we see, uh, you know, Piper Nippin pretty much, you know, she's the power in this match. And Isla Dawn has the kickboxing background. And she was really laying in a lot of kicks, real stiff kicks. And it looked like Piper Nippin was really, you know, Going to be knocked out like she was going to be knocked down out for good and be able to be pinned and she was even driving some punches on piper niven as well but in the end piper driver by piper niven tyler don and she gets the pin and the win and at the end you know 
Isla Dawn didn't look like she was, you know, upset or anything. She was smiling. Like, okay, okay, you you you, you like that, you psyched that? All right. All right? Even though I lost, uh, lost to a better person tonight, and, you know, Piper Devin looked at her like... So they were both, like, uh, in... Um, I guess you could say in total agreement that they gave each other their best and only one person was going to win and they both were coming off losses so uh, a Piper uh, living you know gets that momentum I'm back on the win, win, win you know on, uh, in the win column but uh, Isla Da is gonna have to find her way back and uh, if she even thinks of having, having even having a shot at the UK Women's Champ now Trent Seven Talking about needing the Heritage Cup Tournament Trophy. He wants his name on it. And he needs to win this and become the first Heritage Cup Tournament winner. I think he has the ability to. I mean, he's going to have to get past Kenny Williams. But Kenny Williams, for all I know, is a tag team wrestler. I've never seen him in singles competition or how he does. But he's always with... Um, what's his name? Uh, his partner. That's just my mind at the moment. Bombier Jordan. And uh, we'll see what happens with Trent Seven faces him next week, uh, Kenny Williams, and uh, if he advances. I believe uh, he'll be facing, no, I think he's on the opposite um, bracket, so he's not going to be facing. I was thinking he'll be facing, you know, well, he might be. I don't, I don't know. But uh, I wonder who Dave Massif is going to be facing, and also whoever wins uh, between Trent Seven and uh, Kenny Williams. Now, main event is Imperium. Uh, the tandem of uh, the UK champ Walter and uh, Alexander Wolf, and they'll be facing Ilya Dragunov, the one contender to the UK title, and the former champ Pete Dunne. Now, this match, can I say, you you watch a Walter match, and you have you know Alexander Wolf, Ilya Dragunov, and Pete Dunne in there. And you're gonna have a lot of bones breaking, or near real bone breaking, stiff punches, hard kicks, you know, power moves by uh, Walter. You see the chops that Walter gives, and I don't think anybody gives chops that break skin, blister a person's chest. You see Ilya Dragunov's chest and it's totally this beet red and you see skin and blisters coming up on him and he was taken. But it sounded like a damn shotgun whenever he would get hit and his body would freeze up and would shake and it's like, like as if he got shot, you know. But um, in the end, amazingly so, Ilya Dragunov hits the Torpedo Moscow, missed it the first time, he was going for it, but then he did it again and hit it on Walter and he pinned the UK champ and that is the first that anyone has ever done that to Walter ever since he's become a champion. So that's really uh, an amazing accomplishment by Ilya Dragunov. That gives him some momentum uh, going into their championship match. Will Ilya Dragunov uh, win? I don't know. Um, you know, Walter's held the title for some time, but they might want to keep it on him for a little bit longer because of the whole pandemic thing. They were shut down. They couldn't wrestle. So maybe they want him to give him a decent active run. You know, I mean, this is something that these guys had the title for that long. And they, did, and they didn't for what for a while. I, I could say, well, I could know that they didn't defend their title or wrestle. Right? They didn't wrestle. So uh, you, you make you wonder why he wasn't, you know, stripped of the title. Same thing with... Um, Kaylee Ray and you know the tag champs uh, Gallus, you know Wolfgang and Mark Coffee, but I think it's just because it's not their fault, and it's not like it's an active thing. Because even like with Jordan Devlin, it's an active thing; it's a storyline kind of thing. So yeah, they're going to take the title off him, but um, yeah, it just makes you wonder. But uh, it's good to see them all with the title still, and they're very, very. Uh, the champions, they need them to make the division strong. Tag team division, the women's division, and the uh, singles uh, division, the man, you know, the male division. So, uh, yeah, that's that uh, for uh, my uh, rundown of thoughts on NXT UK for uh, October 15, 2020. As always, I enjoy uh, the hard hitting action of uh, NXT UK. I think it's amazing. 
I think they really are talented, as I've always said in every video that I've done. And I hope uh, that they do, like I said, like a voice here too, that, that they get their due and that everybody knows about them. And that I'm one of the number of people that put out these videos. And hopefully if people that see my video will uh, get to know these guys a little bit better. And uh, try, try, try watching other videos as well, because there's a lot of people that really do enjoy uh, the NXT UK brand. It's not as popular, but then again, NXT isn't as popular. A lot of people, you know, some people that subscribe to me, like the Raw and SmackDown, and that's it. They don't even talk about NXT and even NXT UK. You know, so they don't deserve that. They deserve much more recognition than they get. But uh, anyway, that's my video. And for those of you who stopped by and uh, checked out my video, I appreciate it. And in closing, as always, take care.